those of you who have received treatment with me, who have got a hair transplant done, or who have been following my channel on YouTube, would know that I am not a supporter of PRP, platelet-rich plasma. But there are certain instances where I swear by it, and that is use of PRP as a holding solution for the grafts. Once the grafts are removed from the donor area, the transition time when the grafts are out of body before they are returned into the recipient area. This is a sensitive time when the grafts are prone to damage, to injury. To reduce this out of body ischemia time, we have what is called the in vivo preservation of grafts technique. While the grafts are still in vivo, that is still in the head, we soak them with pads soaked in PRP with ACL matrix. And once the grafts are out for the brief period of about say 45 minutes to one hour, depending upon the length of the case, we soak them in our holding solution, which contains PRP with ACL. A lot of people ask me about PRP and my opinion about PRP, whether I use PRP during and after hair transplant. This video is made to cover this important topic. So hold on. Since there are so many questions coming up about PRP on my channel, in the next video, which I'll be posting sometime next week, I will discuss about the 100 most frequently asked questions about PRP, the link to which will be posted here. PRP, as you all know, is today synonymous with hair growth, synonymous with hair transplants. PRP today is the star performer in regenerative medicine for hair loss. And it is a minimally invasive procedure which is gathering a lot of traction in the realm of medical treatment for hair loss and hair transplant. The process of PRP involves drawing out the patient's blood, subjecting it to centrifugation, separating the platelet-rich plasma component from the rest of the components of blood and using it as a holding solution. Or its most wide usage, injection into the balding scalp for hair regrowth. But today we're going to discuss the use of PRP as a holding solution for grafts once they are out of the body. The utility of PRP lies in the fact that it capitalizes the regenerative properties of platelet-rich plasma. Once platelet-rich plasma is injected into the scalp, it releases certain growth hormones that enhance follicle function, promote hair growth, and in the case of its use as a holding solution, it improves graft survival by decreasing apoptosis or cell death. Also, it decreases scarring in the donor area. Recent studies have suggested that there are significant changes in improvement of hair density and stimulation of hair growth when grafts or follicle units are pre-treated with PRP before the grafts are placed into the recipient area. At Darlingburg's clinic, I use the A-cell matrix PRP technique. PRP is prepared by the double certification method in which platelets up to concentration of six times normal are obtained. This is mixed with A-cell matrix. The A-cell matrix holds the platelets around the follicular stem cells for a longer period of time, allowing longer out-of-body ischemia times without affecting graft survival and follicular regrowth. The use of PRP as a graft holding solution addresses many points which were lacking while using other forms of holding because solutions it, because it creates a protective milieu or environment with the right temperature, the right chemical balance, the right nutrient supply, thereby enhancing follicular viability during and after hair transplantation. Additionally, it improves the process of wound healing, fostering increased hair growth in the transplanted follicles. So what is the mechanism by which PRP promotes hair follicle growth primarily revolves around the release of platelet-derived growth factor and these stimulate the follicular stem cells. These growth factors activate dormant follicular cells follicular stem cells initiating the hair production process. As a result, PRP not only safeguards the follicles but also contributes actively to their regeneration and growth. And this overall enhances the success of a hair transplant procedure. The surgical trauma initiated during the hair transplant process initiates an inflammatory response which marks the initial phase of wound healing. The newly harvested grafts lack blood supply 
and therefore bear the brunt of the biochemical changes taking place. Graft viability being contingent upon various factors including harvesting, dissection of the grafts, manipulation during implantation, ischemia reperfusion injuries, these adversities culminating in apoptosis or cell death, which adversely affects graft survival and the quality of the result of a hair transplant procedure. So to optimize outcomes, care must be extended to mitigate these factors, the environment of the graft once it is out of the body. And PRP has been seen to help as a holding solution to prolong the survival of grafts and to aid in regrowth. And this is where PRP steps in. Grafts which are procured after harvesting are stored in a holding solution until implantation. And this underscores the pivotal role of this holding solution, this medium, in the hair transplantation process. An ideal graft holding solution should align with graft cell osmolality, counteract acidosis, provide cellular energy, and inhibit free radical release. Holding solutions can be broadly categorized into extracellular types and intracellular types. Examples of extracellular holding solutions are ring lactate and other manufactured plasma-like fluids, while hypothermosol typifies the intracellular holding solutions. In my practice, autologous platelet-rich plasma serves as the preferred graft holding solution. And when fortified with a cell matrix, this is the best holding solution possible. And if you dig into literature, medical literature also underscores the benefits of platelet-rich plasma as a holding solution that promotes hair growth, causes better healing, and causes less scarring in the donor area. The most important aspect of using PRP as a holding solution is that it gives a higher hair yield. Less number of grafts die out in the process. The time gap between harvesting and implantation. Autologous PRP solution is an extracellular fluid is isotonic and contains certain growth factors. It is also cost effective as compared to other extracellular matrices, can be easily prepared by the surgeon or a pathologist. It prevents desiccation of grafts when they are outside the body. Many centers also use just plasma as a holding solution, but just plasma as a holding solution can cause certain procedural difficulties in the process. Using plasma as a holding solution makes the grafts very slippery and while plantation, high density of plantation cannot be achieved because the grafts do not settle down into the slits. So this is what I use. To summarize, I decrease the outer body ischemia time firstly by means of my technique which is the Amagen Q plus technique in which in vivo preservation of grafts is done. That is I score the grafts but do not remove them from the recipient area till the entire harvesting is over. These grafts while they are in the body are soaked with copious amounts of PRP along with acyl matrix. Once they're out of the body, they are put in a holding solution which contains PRP with A cell and then within 45 minutes to 2 hours, depending upon the length of the procedure, the grafts go in and this over the last 10 to 12 years since I've been using this holding solution has given me good graft viability, good regrowth and decrease in scarring in the donor area. So that was the talk for the day. Now please wait for the bigger talk on PRP which I will publish sometime next week. Thank you for watching. If there's any question about PRP as a holding solution or any other question about hair transplant, about hair loss treatment in men and women, do let me know. I'll be happy to help. Have a nice day and God bless you.